All right, so let's check back in on the weather here at home with meteorologist Robert Sir. He's joining us now in the studio. So, Robert, that nice weekend weather we have, is it here to stay? Uh, for the next couple of days it is. So and some then, good news then. Yeah, some good news in the short term, not so good news in the long term. As we've got more rain in the forecast, and it could be quite a bit of rain, which uh, we'll get to here. But first, I'll take a quick look back at how February was. Uh, we do this usually the first weekend of a new month, which is now we're into meteorological spring. So that's certainly good news. Now, in, for February, in terms of our temperatures at XNA, average temperature for the month was 45.4 degrees. That was above the average, which by almost four and a half degrees. Drakefield had their third warmest February ever, with an average temperature almost at 47 degrees, which is six, almost six and a half degrees above the average. And then Fort Smith, the 11th warmest uh, February ever, with an average temperature of oh, just about 50 degrees. But those warm temperatures may not be sticking around because the Climate Prediction Center says over the next six to 10 days, a really good shot at below average temperatures. The darker the color, the higher the confidence in those below average temperatures. And you can see our area and the state firmly entrenched in that strong confidence in below average temperatures. We're talking about March 10th through the 14th. And if you go uh, even further out, same thing, below average temperatures look likely. Now in terms of precipitation, you know, you can see there uh, XNA, which doesn't keep snowfall numbers, about four inches. Everybody was above average. Uh, above average for precipitation, but we were below average for snowfall at Drakefield as well as in Fort Smith. Kind of the opposite of January, where we were above average for precipitation and snowfall. Uh, lacking snowfall. But look at this, six to ten days out, there is some confidence in above average precipitation coupled with below average temperatures means we're not done with the white stuff yet, most likely. We'll have to see how the rest of March pans out, but it can still snow in March in this area. Now, right now, temperatures definitely not uh, cool enough for the snowfall. Uh, we're into the 60s here across northwest Arkansas, uh, mid to upper 60s across the River Valley at this hour, a very, very gorgeous day. However, because of all the rain that we had, we still do have a flood warning here. This is for the Poto River near Panama which is this line right here that does eventually uh, drain into the Arkansas River. This goes through tomorrow afternoon. So here's a look at that river gauge uh, for that area. Notice uh, moderate flood stage is expected to be reached right as the river crests tomorrow afternoon. And then we should see a pretty quick drop off in those water levels. But as the water continues to rise, agricultural flooding, and some of those backcountry roads near and along the river will be underwater. And you can see that agricultural flooding here from atop our ca uh, camera here on Cavanaugh Hill. The river is way back in here, but the actual flooding from the river is spanning out. A uh, pretty large floodplain out there because of how flat it is. And you can see all of the cropland that is currently underwater. Uh, so this will continue for the next uh, day or so, and then things will finally start to subside. But then more rain is likely, unfortunately, which we'll, I'll touch here in just a second. As we take you hour by hour, you can see very quiet tonight, not too bad temperatures. By the time we wake up tomorrow, 50s, no problem if you're headed out to the bakery, going for a morning run or for your exercise. By the afternoon hours, we'll be in the near 60. Probably by 3 or 4, many locations will hit 70, if not warmer. And then by Monday morning, waking up, not too bad. But as we get into Tuesday and the, the second part of the week, we're going to get into a pattern that's going to bring us quite a bit of rain between Tuesday night through Friday. And the Weather Prediction Center is saying a lot of rain could fall over that several day period, upwards of five inches in some locations. Now, it's still spread out over a couple of days, but we are definitely waterlogged, and this will not help our swelling uh, streams and creeks. So the flood threat is definitely not over. Keep that in mind. 40s tonight. And then, as I said, we'll rebound very nicely tomorrow. Somebody might hit 80, especially southeast Oklahoma. That really looks like a certainty. Here's a look at the extended forecast, and you can see those comfortable temperatures as we get toward uh, the next couple of days. And then the rain starts to come in. The rain and the wind. We will have a couple of days with some heavy rain. It'll be a wind-driven rain. Temperatures will start to fall, stuck in the lower 50s, so a cold, miserable uh, day or days, I should say, uh, shaping up basically Tuesday night through Friday, and it'll take until next weekend for us to finally start to clear out. 
Uh, same thing here in the River Valley. Rain starts Tuesday afternoon and evening, and then the second half of the week does not look like it is going to be very fun at all. Not worried about severe weather right now, but we'll keep an eye on it. Stay with us. We're going to check the sports world. It was a big day. That's after the break.